No crack line there. Oh, you bugger. Gotta get me some flappy barrels. Yes guys and welcome back to the channel. So we are at Tuna Fest Midlands at Donington Port. We're going to take a look round, show you some of the cars that are on display here today. There's plenty to see. Plenty to video for you guys. But first, we're going to start with the STOC stand because the guys this morning and myself after making quite a few adjustments and changing it quite a few times everybody was quite patient but yeah we, we absolutely smashed it today so i'm just going to spin the camera around now what a show from the st owners club check us out on facebook instagram at ford st owners wicked turnout today and most of all, parked up really well. No tape measures was used this morning, believe it or not. Just a lot of patience. Patience is key. But yeah, enough of the uh, STOC stand. Let's have a wander around, guys, and we'll see what we can see. So starting off behind the STOC stand, we've got UK JDM with the one Subaru turned up, albeit very clean. Got a little Scooby hanging out the uh, bonnet scoop. Over here we've got Love to be different. Quite a variety of cars on this stand. And uh, we've got Taz, special guest appearance. loads of cars to look at so we'll do as best to try and include as many as we can got furry roof in that one this one's got some uh, nice seats and plenty of speakers in it wow big tv screen six amps and a load of Neons. I'm guessing this one's something similar. We've got Xbox, big TV, and a Sonic. I've spotted this Mini over here. A lot of work looks like it's gone into this. On air ride. Let's have a little peek in the boot. A lot of yellow, a lot of hydro dipping. Sits really well, that does. Even down to the dash has all been done. I think this car could probably do with some bucket seats just to pull off with the uh, harnesses. I'm not a big fan of harnesses on standard seats because it can do more harm than good in an accident nice focus there a lot I can't see that, what's that? it's camouflaged oh, we've got this MX-5 which is very bright some nice bucket seats in it Evo with his helmet as a bonnet prop. Lots to see, guys. This Volvo's caught my attention. I like the look of this. Lovely colour. Must be, looks like it could be the original colour. It's got NOS. Goes, meow. focus with the uh, rally lamp pod 
street royalty we've got a real treat for you there's a car of the show there's got to be this ka the body kit is just outstanding 10 out of 10 for effort it's even got nos in it look tape holding the spoiler on Nissan Skyline some poke on them wheels love a Skyline nice bright yellow MG there Green Scooby onto the Seat Owners Club. It's a nice bright red seat. Loads of seats here today. Loads of cars to look at. I'm going to have to keep talking because there's music playing over in the background. So this Hyundai has caught my eye. Quite nice looking. It's got some nice wheels on it. And I noticed the back window's open, it's got a roll cage in there with no back seats. It's quite nice. Got all his Javelin track day stickers there. So uh, yeah, looks like he's a regular on the track with that one. Nice light blue. This looks cool. White with the white wheels works, got the Cobra logos on it. Must be sponsored by Cobra Exhaust. Um, I think his name's Ollie. Yeah. So moving on, we've got the Nissan Club. A load of 370s, 350s, Zs. I do like that one. Nice lineup. This Nismo's alarm's going off, which breaks up from the uh, background noise of the music. So over here in the corner we've got the Mad Vauxhall Club with various Vauxhalls on display and then a Peugeot in the corner this one's had a lot of work done to it look how the bonnet's lifted up on that lots of green styling and then this huge sub box in the back. So Tunafest is a great show to attend. You've got loads of crowds over there because they're all watching the drifting. And then in this section here, you've got loads of traders selling things like number plates, clothing, stickers, badges, all sorts of things like that. Okay, some nice Jap cars in this section. Got a nice Skyline there, S14, got a nice Type R there, with a whopping great turbo on it. Lots of variety at today's show, got some more seats, got a motorbike here, look there, mine. Remember the days where you put a old drinks bottle and wedged it in the back of your BMX or something like that to make it sound like a motorbike bless him and over here we have the GTR owners club <coughs> crime scene do not cross I think that's because they don't want people walking through but there's an absolute sea of GTRs over in this section and we've got this noisy one here that you can hear as we walk by Over in this section we've got this Fiat Cicacento. I think if I did own this I'd have to have a red door on it. Some more Skylines. Nice carbon bonnet on that one. Matte black bonnet on that one. And this nice brown colour on that one. We've got a E36 drift car. 
Mart, followed by the Mark 3 RS. There's, a couple, there's an RS over there, and they got run over then. Another RS there, STI'd in there. Mini, a couple of Hondas, Saxos, you don't see them many any longer. Got some, a Jap car there, uh, LS400 I believe that is. Got an E46 there with super wide arches. And this Fiesta, which I do quite like the livery on this one. And it's got a big spoiler on it. Flash Cars UK. Clio, which is for sale. 2500 open to offers phone number is in the window should you want it GT86 which is a nice bronze color onto this Z which is incomplete but I would say it's uh, pretty complete with that nice carbon wing on it A mini Ooh, MX5s. A couple of MX5s over in this section. Looks like a rocket bunny kit on it. Got this one with the really bright white wheels. And then also, once you think you've seen it all, we've got one and a half MX5s. Got one with a trailer on it and a roof box for all the camping gear, I guess. With a pop-off steering wheel. Over here we've got a lovely Evo. And a Toyota MR2. Which again, you don't see many of these days. GTR's just leaving. With a number plate that says fuck you on it. He's forgot his helmet. Right, so we've got a show and shine section over here, which we're going to take a quick look in now. So we're in the show and shine section. We've got this grey wrapped RS alongside this bright green Golf. And then moving on to this Nissan, which is on air suspension. With the big wing. We've got a Peugeot here that's two-tone with a Zafira GSI which is fully roll caged up Lego tag mm. this Golf R is very clean looks like it's on air suspension again carbon fiber pretty much everywhere wind deflectors trims mirror caps checkered seats yeah it's nice a lot of effort's gone into that got another Nissan with the wide wheels on the back got a Fiesta slotted in here onto this Type R and a shiny blue BMW in the corner so over this side we've got this Golf R32 which has got an amazing shine on it on air suspension again and then on to an Audi TT again on air and then a Beetle with a surfboard on the top and the fancy eyelids I've also got a Golf here with a VR6 engine in which is quite familiar on the channel because we've done a full review on this car still looking as clean as ever but if you want to see that go check out the car car vlog section on the channel guys what's this some kind of Subaru yeah Subaru it's like a pinky goldy colour, like a flip paint on that one. Next to this beautiful red Mustang, which is also on here. It's a five litre. We've got a big air filter there, look. 
hydro dipped engine cover very nice sits very well right so just here we've got this volkswagen caddy van which is all different colors on bentley wheels something a bit different literally every panel is a different color if you didn't know this saxo owner loves boobs got a v8 audi on some gold rotiform wheels which looks smart alongside a mercedes a few nice cars this side which i'm drawn to this golf estate which is over here little fabia there look clean it's been in quite a few shows a little coarser here look with the uh, RS bonnet vents Jag onto a Saab which you don't see many of anymore a Golf on air suspension A nice S2000 with tribal livery up the side and shotgun style exhaust. Deep dish wheels. Nice bright yellow colour with a sparkle in the graphics. And then next to that we've got this BMW M3 on these huge wheels on air suspension with pink calipers carbon fiber roof and also I've spotted over here this RX7 old school D1 spec in the sort of satin purple glitter which looks smart a few nice cars placed over here We've got this Astra, which is on air. It doesn't move because it's purely static. VXR, alongside a couple of Scooby-Doo's. Next to a BMW. Fiesta Mark 8. Peugeot and a Golf. On to Sean's old focus who sadly passed away moving along this section we've got some nice bright colours we've got the yellow the green the orange and the purple just standing over here we've got this highly modified MX-5 which is very bright next to this other MX-5 a few MX-5s here to be fair that one's got like a drift spoiler on it. Do look cool with like the pop-up headlights with a MR2 hiding there in the background. And a lovely little XR3 high in the mix. We've got a couple of minis over here. Followed by a Focus, a Scirocco. And, uh, some more Jap Scoobies over in this section and then straight opposite we've got a load of Evos over this side it's nice in red but also nice in white got a selection of white Evos here in this corner And then over here we've got this classic mini. Onto Mercedes C63, BMW M4, Golf 4. 
so guys that's the end of the video if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe did try and get quite a few cars in today it is very hot there's a lot of music playing but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one guys